everyone, welcome to Bob's Training Liquid Solution. Long time no see. I hope everyone's doing well. So, if you need the best mock, in, just as usual, if you need the best mock interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at bobstraining.org, where you can find all the latest information about the mock interviews, and also you will have the best experience from all the interviewers from those top companies who give you advice. So today we are going to talk about a relatively easy um, problem just to get the get the things rolling. So it's basically called the group anagrams. The problem is giving you a list of strings. As you can see, the input is a list of strings, and uh, the list of strings. And then you, I want they want you to return a list of lists that groups all the anagrams into the same row. And uh, um, well, this is an easy problem because I think every time whenever we look at anagrams, we should at this moment we should know given two words, whether these two words are anagrams or not, it's essentially a very easy ON solution where you can just scan the characters. And uh, so that will lead to a very brute force way to think about the problem is for each of the string in this list, you will literally do an ON, uh, let's assume N is the number, is a string array length, and the M is uh, each of the word lengths, like on average. So you will basically, for every pair, the string, you will compare whether they're anagrams or not, and then in order to compare whether they're anagrams, you literally have to go through them once. So basically it's M plus M, it's 2M, it's still M. So this is the total complexity. That's the most brute force way. Um, the sp space complexity is pretty much O-N. Um, I will not code this way up, but if you think further, so how can you optimize this is, because um, N can grow like way larger than M uh, in this case, right? So you can essentially sort each string as the key. So Every, every time you see a word, you can just sort as a key, and then if the key is the same, the sorted string is the same, and then they pretty much group the same, so they are anagrams. So the time complexity of that is sorting each word is m times log m, um, and then for n words, this is the total time complexity. So if you compare this, n times m log m, because normally m is relatively small, versus the first one is pretty much n, like, uh, square, sorting the strings definitely will be way uh, way faster than the brute force one. And then the last one we can think about it is, okay, so now sorting is m log uh, m, log m uh, or normally we say n log m. Can we do it better? So now one idea will come into mind if you're familiar with, you know, we can calculate a hash value of object or md5 or a sha1, sha2 values, those kind of things. Um, given a string, how can we uniquely just uh, generate a um, value that just kind of like a fingerprint of this string. So there are multiple multiple ways to do this, but for the sake of this um, this problem, because we want to know whether they are uh, anagrams or not, so essentially what we can do is we can just keep an array of all the ASCII characters, and then we can count it, and then later after counted, we can convert this into a string, so that as a unique key. So in that case, every time you see a string, so you will basically just uh, um, you will go through all the strings, and then you want to group them. For each of one, you just need to M. You go through all the characters, and then that's it. So that pretty much gives us O N times M. This is the best, uh, best solution. So as you can see, so starting from the brute force, and then to this, it's kind of a very logical uh, thought, thought that you can reach to the maximal solution. All right, that's it. A very simple one. Um, I hope everyone's doing well, and uh, 